Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Tarot. Tarot, doing a quick read for you. We're going to go over your money, your career, your love life, do a general spread. At the end, we're going to do the all signs, if you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're dealing with a Gemini, etc. If any card repeats, I will point that out in case that's something you need to hear. Um, if any sign repeats, I'll point that out in case that's confirmation of somebody you came here to hear about. If you like it, if it resonates, feel free to hit the like button, comment, share, whatever makes you happy. Um, I'm not doing a pre-shuffle. We're just getting right into this. I'm going to use the, uh, the steampunk deck to do your money portion. So let's just get rolling. And after I do the main reads, then I'll do some smackdowns. So if you want to see a, like, a smackdowns are almost like personal readings between you and your person. Um, all right. So, ooh. so a lot of you all are just kind of going within and trying to be, stay on the down low right now financially and just kind of look for answers. I don't know what's going on, Leah, but look at this. Get the Hermit card on the bottom of the deck. So let's see what's going on with your money. All right. Ten of Pentacles. I like that. Dang. Leo, Knight of Swords, you're going after the bag. <laughs> Um, but you're feeling stuck at the same time. What is the deal? Okay, so Knight of Cups. Six of Wands. You're going to be successful. All eyes are on you. Page of Wands. Um, You have somebody around you that's really impulsive. Um, I always feel like you have somebody who, when it comes to your money, there's somebody that's it's like jealous energy. I get jealous energy. When I look at this, that's what I see. That's what I'm seeing. Somebody who's being jealous. Um, but you have a lot of eyes on you on your financial situation. So what is the Knight of Cups before we go on? I don't know. I get the temperance card. You're trying to be patient, but you're patiently waiting to hear from an Ace of Swords. Maybe that is it. Because I, I was going to say, waiting for word for from somebody about something financial, and then the Ace of Swords shows up. All right, so yeah. So... I, I mean, it's whatever it is. Okay, so if you're waiting for word from somebody, um, like a loan approval or something like that, um, whatever you're waiting for word from when it, uh, when it comes to money, it, you're going to feel good about it because the Knight of Cups, I mean, it's going to make you feel good. Um, Ten of Pentacles, though, I like that. Wow. Clarified by the Empress. So your money is growing. So regardless of what, you, what your situation is right now or what it feels like to you right now, um, this is... This is definitely where you're headed, and I like that. Even though you may feel stuck at the moment, I mean, you're headed for Ten of Pentacles energy, so that's that's like home, family, roots, stability, having everything you need. All right, so... Yeah, you got somebody jealous around your... Uh, that's the only way I can put it. Like, I just get envious energy. Um, all right, so we're going to use the Modern Witch Tarot for your career portion. <sighs> okay. Who's being sneaky? Somebody's being sneaky or shady. I don't know if, like, a boss or a co-worker or somebody... Somebody's trying to get away with something. Hopefully it's not you. Um, but in your career, you have Seven of Swords energy on the bottom before you even start. So, unless it's just a matter of you not letting people know what you're up to. If that's all it is, then that's great. That's awesome. Um, it could be that. It could be you just not letting people know your moves. Because you don't want them to energetically shit on it. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. That's a cat making all that noise. There's a, a plate. It's technically a styrofoam plate. But anyway, a plate upside down. And he's trying to right side it up because he wants whatever's on the other side of it. <laughs> and he flipped it over, so now he's trying to flip it back. Um, so, does somebody, oh my god. Leo, somebody has an apology for you, they, and they want to make things right. It's either they want to give you the work, give you the job, Oh, they want to work with you. Like, they want to do the work or put in the work. Um, there's heartbreak. There's There it is again, Seven of Swords. So I'm going to caution you, look at this. And the moon, okay. Leo, I'm going to give you a warning because 
Um, I feel like it could be, if there's a person, if there is a person who's envious of you and your financial situation, then it could be the same person. Um, somebody wants to apologize to you, make things right. They want to work together with you. Um, they could be feeling heartbroken. They want to give you the work and they're feeling heartbroken. That's not you feeling heartbroken, is it? Oof. Well, I ask, It's that's not you feeling heartbroken, is it? Um, here's regret and disappointment. So someone may have disappointed you. And it could be somebody who's sneaky and shady and tries to get away with stuff, hide things. Um, and look at this. And you're not sure. It could be causing you to know not know which way things are going, which way to go with a, a career, a job situation. Um, dang, I don't like that. All right, so... Before I get, I don't want to leave it on that note. What before we move on? Um, what can you expect in the future, though? Okay, I like it. Oh, and then this is what came in. Okay, this wanted to be seen first, and then this. So you're again quickly headed to Ten of Pentacles. I like that. Damn, Leo, look at this. Look at this Ten of Pentacles energy you got going on here. The money. All right, <laughs> money. All right, so let's. Go on to your love reading with the runic tarot. Money. All right, I'll, I'll stop you. All right, so <laughs> so some of you all might have a sex thing coming in. It could be, and it can be pretty hot, hot and tempting. That may not be everybody, but it looks like um, I kind of feel like that might be it's an opportunity to uh, get jiggy with it. All right, so let's see. Communication coming in. Oof. Okay, here it is. <clears throat> I don't know who you're dealing with, <laughs> Leo, but are they somebody who just hides their thoughts and they don't open up and let you know what's going on? Or is it more likely that they're just somebody who's very shady? They try to get away with stuff. Sneaky sneakster. I don't like that. So you're going to get communication from a Shady McShadester. Congratulations on that. Um, they're reminiscing going down. They, and it's, it's, it is somebody from the past. <laughs> it's somebody from the past. It's an ex or somebody from the past. Um, somebody you haven't heard from in a minute. Look at that. They want new, they want a new start in the... Oh my God, it is Mercury retrograde. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, they're still, this is them. They're still Knight of Wands. They're still a player. They're still a player. Leo, they're still a player. But they're going to be like, look, look. I've matured. I'm emotionally mature. You know, I, I've bossed up. I don't, I don't, I don't act like a immature little twerp anymore, you know, regardless of gender. But, the, you know, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Are they going to love bomb you? I'm just curious. Uh, they're going to hold back. What? So they're going to rush in and hold back. What the crap? What else are they going to do? Just out of curiosity. Page of Wands. So they're going to be impulsive. They're going to be all about sex. And then hold back. And be indecisive. Holy crap, man. Ooh. So I'm just going to remind you. This is really, I mean, I can't hold them up all at the same time. But, I mean, communication from a Shady McShadester. From the past. <laughs> that wants new love. Wants to start a new start. But they're still a player. Player. Um, but look at them. They're like, but I have so much love for you. Yeah, still a player. Still a player. All right, so we're going to use the light sears for the general portion. Damn. Leo. Oh, ho, 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 ho. You saw it fall out, right? You saw that fall out. Look at it. Look what fell out. It's just a reminder. They're still the same. They're still... So whoever this person is that wants to come back, they're still... Shady. They're still shady. They're also still... They 
they like may like to spy on you. This is not the Page of Swords, but it's it's the King of Swords. But look how, see how this particular. Oh man, I got a little battery warning. See how this particular uh, King of Swords is up on high, looking over everything like with a bird's eye view. Yeah, so they may like to um, watch you or spy on you. They think that they think they know everything. And I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna shuffle. I'm not even going to shuffle because those cards want to come out stingy on a break. Got to have clear boundaries. And here's, you know, what somebody wanting to share love with you, Leo. But, but they're still a hot mess. Man, that's all tiny now. Hopefully that didn't change this, the size of the uh, picture. Um, yeah, they're cold, they're analytical, they're sneaky, they're shady, they don't want you to know what they're up to, they're, they're stingy, they keep to themselves, they, they're unhealed, whoever this is is unhealed, um, and they're just, but, and, and here's the thing, if they could act right, this could be a true match, because you have the king and the queen of swords, but instead, it's not the king and queen of cups, or even queen and king of pentacles, it's swords, so... You end up, it's, there's like no emotion there. And it's, you end up having to have firm boundaries with somebody, even though they want to share love. So there's that. And I was, my eyes were drawn to this card. So I'm just going to hold it up. My eyes were drawn to this. Cause that's, I guess that's cause to remind you that they cause heartbreak. All right. So if you are dealing with an Aries, <laughs> Leo, I literally flew through this reading. I don't know how that happened, but I did. Look at this. Okay, so whoever you're dealing with, they're spying on you. They're spying. They're trying to get information. They're asking. They're looking at your social media. They're trying to figure out what's going on. If you're being quiet and they're, you're not letting them, not saying anything, it's driving them crazy. All right, Leo. Um, if you're dealing with an Aries, <laughs> clarification. They may want to actually, so the Aries might want to, move on they feel like it's karmic and they just need to heal interesting didn't see that um taurus feels like you're their happily ever after um they want to reunite they're going down memory lane gemini um they're focused on their money and they're ignoring you so no oh, that's annoying cancer is going to come rushing in to tell you they want to be single no no ew um fellow leo they feel burdened they want to work together with you they want to work on it. I want to work with you. Um, Virgo, <laughs> no. I'm just going to say no. Just no. Definitely not. Definitely not with this Virgo. They play mind games. They are manipulative and they play mind games. Ugh. All right. If you're dealing with a Libra, they feel like it's done and they're looking at their options. Somebody else got that. I forget who that got that. Same thing. Same position and everything. Um, and I shuffled like crazy. Um, if you are dealing with a Scorpio, I'm going to say big ol' no. So if it's a Scorpio, no. They have secrets. They're shady. They hide stuff. Uh, they like to keep you in the dark. That's a big no. Sagittarius is feeling regretful. Um, they want to grow with you. They may want to have children with you. Capricorn is holding back, um, even though they feel like you could have it all together. Okay. I, I, why are they holding back? Do they have, before I do this one, do they have substance abuse problems? Because I ask, why are they holding back? And I'm like, well, if they're holding back, that, that's not like reuniting because that's completely opposite. Um, are they partying like a rock star? Do they have substance abuse problems? If they do have sub substance abuse problems, they're very defensive about it. If you ask and they're very defensive about it, then that's a yes. That'll be your confirmation. Um, Aquarius. They are itching to make this happen. They are just, they really want to make things happen. The, the uh, magician and the eight of wands, they are in a, they're impatient to make things happen. Pisces, they're going to offer you love. It's real. It's true. Um, and they're, or they want to offer you love, but they're waiting on you. I don't, wait, what else? They're going to offer love or they want to offer love, but they're waiting I 
that just makes no sense. But they're horny. Okay. All right. Well, they're they want to offer you love. It's real. It's it's you know it's it's genuine. Um, and they're waiting on you. I don't even know why. What's on the bottom? All right. So look at this is you looking good regardless of gender. I know it's a, a queen, but regardless of gender, you're looking good. You're getting lots of attention. You feel confident. Um, and they have a lot of passion for you. Whoever you're dealing with, they do see you um, as very sexy and um, I want to say magnetic. <laughs> Don't know why, but I want to say magnetic. All right. Thank you, Leo. Love you. And I will see you all in the next one.